Hey, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. The Pavlov Poke is a device built by PhD students Robert Morris and Dan McDuff at MIT, which shocks you when you're on Facebook for too long. The device is a small keyboard accessory that monitors your application usage. If you spend too much time on a particular website or application, it will electrocute you. The electric shock is described as unpleasant but not dangerous. MJ McLaren is trying to raise $10,000 on Indiegogo to produce video earrings. The video earrings can show videos as slideshows, screensavers, homemade videos, music videos, you get the point, they play videos. The earrings have a 2.2 inch screen that supports popular video formats and can be loaded and recharged via USB cable. They are equipped with built-in speakers and volume buttons and are currently being offered for $50 on Indiegogo. Alert, alert! You can use GIFs on Facebook. What? This changes everything. Shut the f*** up. It's like MySpace all over again. Giphy.com announced on Thursday that they have cracked the code for including GIFs on Facebook. You can share a GIF by simply clicking the post to Facebook button or by copy pasting a code. The only problem is once you've posted the GIF to Facebook, it places a play button on the image so the image doesn't move automatically, which is a bummer. Who wants a mini Mac? I do. I do. Who wants a mini Mac? I do. I do. And it works. Say hello to my little friend! Haptics is a compact 3D motion sensor that turns any flat area into a multi-touch surface and could potentially replace your traditional keyboard and mouse. Haptics was a Kickstarter project that has already reached its funding goal, so it should be coming out soon. You could place haptics over any surface like a messy kitchen counter, your desk, pretty much anything. By tracking 3D finger positions, the two complementary metal oxide semiconductor image sensors in haptics allow users to tap above the surface in the air so that air clicking on a link is simply a matter of moving your finger up and down. Haptics will cost around $70 or less. This 170-year-old sofa balancing itself on one leg was part of an art installation called Balance From Within, exhibited at the 2013 File Festival in Brazil. Artist Jacob Tonsky was inspired by relationships, calling them a balancing act and believes that the full range of human interactions can be found on sofas. Jacob used a reaction wheel, which is a rotating device commonly used in spacecraft for adjusting orientation when it rotates off-center. He added a second axis so that the wheel could correct balance in all directions. The antique sofa is held together with strong magnets, so when it falls, and it does, it breaks apart into pieces that are easy to put back together. And make sure you check out Crave's celebrity branded tech products that shouldn't exist. Like this Jackie Chan camera, or Justin Bieber singing toothbrushes, or these Usain Bolt headphones. The list goes on and on, check it out at the link. Hey guys, thanks for watching the show. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week, Crave is giving away two tiny Wi-Fi mobile storage devices from ScanDisk. Store and stream your content across multiple mobile devices. Go to the blog and enter to win. Uniface,最新突破仿生皮肤面具及细胞粘合喷胶技术。轻松一喷,就可拥有所有美的特征。完美,只需一步。Uniface.